Hi there, how's it going? This is Ash from Fetch Profits. Mostly when you run campaigns on Facebook or Google or if you're pointing somebody to take an action on your website, you're usually pointing them to a landing page. Now most businesses and marketers nowadays use do-it-yourself landing page builders like Unbounce, Lead Pages, Instapage, Wishpond and Scriptly because it's easier and faster to develop landing pages that way and also they are mostly drag and drop so you don't really require the need for a developer or a designer to create landing pages more often than not campaigns require plenty of landing pages and different variations so it's important that marketing departments or small businesses have access to landing pages as soon as possible and as many as they need for a particular campaign to succeed now if you're using Unbounce, Lead Pages, Instapage, Wishpond, or any of those do-it-yourself landing page builders, a A-B testing feature is automatically built in for each of those tools, depending on the payment plan that you're on. But in some cases, if it so happens that you're using an HTML page, so in that case, if you would like to still do A-B testing as against your campaigns or as against the traffic that your landing pages are getting, then it becomes a little difficult and for that reason there are tools like visual website optimizer that helps you a b test even an html landing page so here's visual website optimizer after you log in uh, this is where you will be able to set up a new campaign of course there are a lot of features right here but in this case we are exclusively focusing on a b testing a particular html page now i'm trying to build out landing pages using this software scriptly now here's a sample landing page that I've been trying to create. So you have a logo, you have a headline, you have a subheading and you have an image and you have a button here. Now I would like to use this landing page. So within Visual Website Optimizer, after you log in, you will find this prelink called AB testing. Once you click on that, you will have an option to name your campaign. I will call it test. And here is where I need to include a URL for the landing page that I'm about to test. In the case of Scriptly, I could find the link of the page by going to landing page settings, and I'll be able to find the link here. But more often than not, you usually have the link with you. You happen to know or your developer gives it to you. So you can just pick that URL. This is the page that most people land on. You also have the option of including or excluding URLs as the case may be. You have lots of advanced options that I'm not getting into at the moment and you can click on next. The, sec the second thing that Visual Website Optimizer will ask you to do is the first landing page that you entered, the URL that we just entered now, that's your main landing page and it's called the control version. But you can have as many variations of that particular page as you want and you will be creating those variants within Visual Website Optimizer and within your browser. So if I click on edit, for example, it will try and fetch my page and display it on my browser and give me all the tools I need to try and make changes to this particular page. As you can see, there are these little boxes that show up every time I hover on a particular element. If I would like to change the logo, I can. If I would like to change the image, I can for this particular variant, if you know what I mean. So I can probably change this to something else. I will click on it, edit it. Edit HTML and I know that my particular piece of text is right here. You don't really need to know much HTML, but if you do, it really helps. So I'm going to change this to something else. Your second variant. And I say done and you can see what is happening here. Your particular headline, for example, has been changed. Now I'll try and work on this other headline also. Just click on the box. Make sure that you see this little blue box that that shows up and it tells you that it's a h1 heading so click on that you will get a particular option where it says edit you can resize you can move you can even style it change the colors if you'd like so i'll click on edit edit html try and find that piece of text that's somewhere here and change it right here and i say done so if you can notice I have changed that way this variant so that this variant has different headlines and I'm going to keep everything else the same. That's the best practice that you can normally follow when you do A-B testing. You can even change the image if you like for the, for the sake of saving time. I'm not going to do it. 
I just click on next and that's my new variant. Now, if you see this will reload, what is the goal that you're trying to measure? You can give it a name by changing it. It is right now tracking page visits, but I can also track engagement, form submits, click on a link, click on an element and various other things like that. For now, I'm just going to keep it on track page visits on, but that's not a goal that I want to keep because if the page gets about 100 visitors, it'll count as 100 goals met. So I would like to rather maybe change it to track form submits to that particular goal. Here you also have a frequently used goal. So you can you can pick any of these options if you like and click on next. You can edit parameters or you can just continue anyway. And once you continue form submits to what should constitute as a goal. So what is that particular page? that when a user signs up on your landing page and maybe reaches your website.com slash tank underscore you, if that is the page that they land on after they sign up for whatever it is or that you're offering on that landing page, that's the URL that you need to add here. For example, URL matches your website.com slash tank underscore you. Now, this might, this might be depending on how you're developing your landing pages. Maybe you could, you should ask your developer. But if you get the particular page where you can tell the visual website optimizer that if you reach this particular page, my goal has been met. And then click on next. And that's when I'm set up with my basic A-B testing for an HTML page on visual website optimizer. I can even select the percentage of traffic that I want to include in the campaign. So of all the people who visit my landing page, I only want 50% of that traffic to see my control and the variant that I just created. Or I could just leave it to the default, which is 100%. So all the traffic that I sent to that landing page will now get to see either the control or the variant split equally between the both. You can even integrate with third party products. Obviously, you can integrate with your Google Analytics, Universal Analytics, Tag Manager, Clicktail and several other options. Or if you just finish, it will automatically launch the campaign. So that's how a visual website optimizer works. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and keep this going. Thank you so much. You have a great day ahead. Happy campaigns.